What happened is we got alerted to the existence of this posting on Instagram alleging that I had uh, contacted and harassed survivors of sexual assault to get salacious news stories. I felt especially bad for him finally retiring after 36 years at the paper. I think if you ask anybody who knows Taft, what they would tell you is that he's probably the, the most ethical reporter that they know. There was a no-win situation. I was very dubious because of the, my employer's initial reaction. Really the scariest thing I think was we didn't know who the person was. And so when I found Mink, I remember just looking at the website and thinking, these are people who look like they know what they're doing. And we both felt very strongly that Dan was that person after talking with him for that first consultation. Unlike the other lawyer that I'd spoken with, I had the sense that I was dealing with a consummate professional. We got regular updates from Dan. Everything was run by us first before it was sent out. I remember we got a call from Dan and the first words out of his mouth were, we got her. She missed one place and Dan was able to find that one place. That enabled us then to identify that person and hold her to account. Someone who just picked him out of you know thin air um, as a person to malign. Ultimately, we were able to secure an apology and a settlement that uh, uh, covered most of my legal expenses. Uh, and I felt like that I was made whole uh, again. Finally, you know, I felt like my husband could enjoy his retirement. We don't feel like that another law firm or another lawyer in the country could have done as great a job for us as uh, Dan Powell. We won the lottery when we, when we went with Mink.